Hey y'all, it's your girl Simona. Welcome back to my channel. If y'all can see by the title, today's another story time. So before we get into this video, y'all already know what to do. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, give a girl a thumbs up, comment down below. Don't forget to follow me on all my socials, Instagram at Viva La Yoshi, TikTok and Twitter at Life with Simone, and follow my business page at Brashari. Y'all, Denim and Diamonds tickets is still on sale, so make sure you go ahead and copy one before they all gone, because we about to have a time. I'm so excited. But anyway, oh yeah, and if you come in solo, don't worry about it. I made a post on my Instagram, so a lot of the girlies is linking up before or like talking before so you don't have to worry about having like you know feel some type of way coming solo because we meeting and greeting it's gonna be a time if you came to my last event you already know but yeah let's get straight into this video so somebody on twitter had asked me if i could do a story time another story time about florida so i'm like i'm gonna tell y'all about the time because i remember i told y'all a lot of people was confused because i remember when i was like me and him stopped talking because i did some dumb shit and yeah i'm gonna tell y'all why we had stopped talking so let's get into it so y'all i was going to this party for my grandma we was having a dinner party for her and around this time me and him it was like rocky because i don't know i was kind of annoying as hell when it came down to him because y'all i was like freshly not super super freshly but sort of out of a situationship um and the relationship didn't end to like because of cheating and stuff like that it, okay it was just ending because it was like the love was lost like it wasn't the same the love was not there anymore it was certain stuff like but that's a whole other story i'll talk about the other day like that situation shit. but long story short it's like the stuff that i expected the person to do in a relationship which i wasn't in anymore by the way i i don't know it's like when i met florida i expected him to already be doing all these things mind you me and him is not in a relationship we just dating talking to get to know each other so i don't even know why i would expect and be expecting this man to do move the fucking mountains for me but that's how i was feeling at that time because i should have properly healed and moved forward instead of jumping into something without properly healing first anyway so I used to kind of get mad at him about certain little things like if he was on Instagram before telling me good morning, I'm mad. If I text him and I see he posts his food and he didn't respond back and say LOL to my joke, I'm mad. I used to just be mad and I would be pressing and I know that shit was so annoying to him. But anyway, so at this point, like it was a little rocky or whatever, but I was going to a dinner party for my grandma's birthday or whatever. And I looked it cute. My sister had did my makeup. I had did my hair super cute. I'll post a picture of me or whatever. But I looked so cute. So I had FaceTime him and I was like, oh, look at me. Like I look cute. And he was like, oh, you know, pumping my head up and all this other stuff. So that had kind of got us back on like, we wasn't on not talking terms, but that kind of got us back in like, okay, we cool. So I was like, okay, after I'm done here, I'm gonna come see you or whatever. But when I was at the party or whatever, my um, cousin and her friend, they was telling me about how they was about to go to this club the following weekend to celebrate something i think it was like her friend was launching her business or was like so many sales i forgot what it was but they were saying they was going to this club and because we was lit as hell at the dinner party the dinner party was at her house by the way like so yeah it wasn't we wasn't just at a restaurant throwing ass we was in the backyard but <laughs> yeah so we was talking and stuff and she was like you should come so i'm like yeah i'm gonna come that sound cool that's like not too far from <laughs> I'm in my head thinking like that's not too far from Florida house so I could go see my man afterwards that's what I'm thinking right so okay fast forward to me I end up seeing him later that night but that, that's really irrelevant to this so fast forward to now it's getting close mind you I told him that I was going to that club or whatever and I'm like maybe you could pull up if I see how the mood is because I really don't want to be that girl that just invited my man out like well he ain't my man <laughs> well he wasn't my man at that time but i don't want to be that friend that's just inviting my man out and it'd be like girl what the fuck we trying to have a girl tonight why the hell is he here so i'm like i'm gonna see how how the mood is and stuff like that but i'm like maybe you could pull up or maybe i could come see you after not maybe i'm am gonna see you after like i'm gonna be on your side of town i want to see you so he was like okay everything was straight right so i'm excited because i'm gonna see my man so i gotta do the most i'm like i'm about to go to the nail shop i already did my hair because every time i used to see him around that time i would switch my wig out so every time he would see me i had a different wig on y'all and it's crazy because dudes know this but it's like how much we put in the effort to do that shit it's like it really doesn't matter he would have still liked me if i had the same wig on from last time but um yeah everything cool i'm excited right so i text him and i forgot what i had text him but long story short he didn't respond fast enough like like i asked like i needed him to right so i kind of got irritated because he had went to go get some food right and this is before i had even knew that this dude do a lot of stuff by himself like he literally would go try new foods by himself so because you already know he's not from out here so this is before i knew that so when i had texted him and he didn't reply but he had posted his food and then he had posted him driving like downtown la i kind of felt some type of way because i'm like hold up now 
hold up now why are you not responding in my head i'm already quick going to like insecure shit i'm thinking he with somebody so i'm like oh he with somebody so he not trying to respond and that was kind of fishy to me i was irritated so i hit him up and i was just like oh you're weird as fuck mind you <laughs> <laughs> maybe he didn't see the text i don't know he would it's not like he would respond hours later like it would probably be like five ten minutes but i needed him to respond in 2.6 seconds like if i sent the message right after i sent it you should already be knowing that i'm about to send the message so you should be already typing yours but anyway so i was irritated and i was just like you're weird as fuck i was all like it's cool you probably would have bitch or something like that i just went straight to being annoying so he's like he didn't respond back quick neither. He was still responding back in the same amount of time he was going to respond back in. And he was just like, what are you talking about? Like, I'm not with nobody or whatever. And I'm like, nah, it's cool. It's cool. He tried to call me and I wasn't answering the phone. Because I'm like, nah, he ain't about to sit here. He probably going to tell her to hush and be quiet while he get on the phone with me. I don't know. I was just being so annoying. So he's like, um, like, why are you acting like that? Like, I said, I'm, we going to see each other later. Like, why are you trying to argue and stuff like that? And I'm like, I'm not trying to argue. I just know what's up. You in L.A., you didn't even tell me you was coming out here. So he was like, oh, I had to handle something real quick. Like, I'm not even about to be out here like that. Like, I'm literally about to handle something, but I wanted to try this food truck. So I stopped and went and got it. And I'm going back home. He was like, but you coming to me later anyway. So I didn't think it was a big deal. He was like, because you tell me you about to get your nails done and stuff like that, right? So I'm like, nah, nah, because even if, if you on my side of town, you need to tell me, like, you need to tell me that you on my side of town because how you on my side of town and you not telling me? He's like, because I'm just handling something real quick. So I'm like, oh, there you go. Always with your friends. I know he thought I was a fucking psychopath because he probably like, what the hell? At this point, me and him have been knowing each other. At this point, this is July. We met in April, so... May, June, July. We've been knowing each other for three months at this point. So I know he probably think like, what the fuck is she talking about? But I'm like, yeah, always with your friends. Yep, you just love putting in friends before me. Girl, <laughs> I've been knowing this man three months. But anyway, so um, he's like, what are you talking about? I'm literally handling something. And then I'm going back home. But he was like, if you want to see me before, then let me know. Like, I could pull up to where you at. You getting your nails done. Like, where are you about to be? So I'm like, nah, it's cool. It's cool. I already know you probably with a bitch. I'm just mad as fuck. I don't know why I'm so mad. But at this time, I think I was getting into it with my ex too. So that's probably why it was really more like I was more mad. So I'm like getting into it with him and stuff like that. And I, this is where I fucked up at, y'all. I said, it's cool. You're a weird. No, he started replying back slower again. Clearly, he's probably driving again. So I'm getting irritated because he's not responding. So I'm sending a million messages like, oh, yeah, you're weird. Da, 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 da. He's not responding. So I, this is where I fucked up at. Like, my, I'm not this girl. I don't know why this old toxic ways came. I don't know what came over me this day. I'm, I promise you, this is not me. I don't even talk. Y'all. To this day, he could literally tell you, I do not call this man out his name. I don't disrespect him. He don't call me out of my name. Like, we don't talk to each other like that. I don't know what was wrong with me, y'all. And I text him and said, you a weird ass bitch. I don't know why I caught this man. <laughs> y'all. So, literally, after I said that, he still responded in the time that he was going to respond in. It's not like he was rushing anything. And he was just like look you taking it too far i don't disrespect you and i don't want you to disrespect me like you we it shouldn't even be getting that far something he said like that like basically like that's not cool for me to be calling him out his name disrespecting him and i was just like well it's not cool for you to be on my side of town look i'm still just going at it so he was like you know what i don't think it's cool if we see each other tonight like you know what like it's just this is too much so <laughs> y'all too much so i'm irritated because i'm just like never too much never too no i'm just kidding but i'm just thinking like how is this too much? Y'all, when I look back on it now, I swear I apologize so many times to this man because I'm like, I was clearly annoyed. So anyway, so yeah, I'm just irritated. He's not responding to me. After he said what he said, he stood on business, y'all. He didn't reply. So I go to the nail shop. I'm meeting up with my sister, right? We go to the nail shop. I was irritated because around this time, money was a little funny. So I used to go to this nail shop in Compton, and it's right in the parking lot across where, from where the Compton Swami used to be. If you know, you know. They got 90s, early 2000 prices but 90 early 2000 styles as well. So I would go there because you know, you could get your nails and your feet done with some designs for like $60. And where are you getting that at? So anyway, I went or whatever, and me and my sister, we met up, I'm telling her like, girl, yeah, this nail shop cool as fuck, whatever like that, but they get on my nerves. Every time I used to go there, I used to be like, this is my last time coming there. I, I probably went about a good five times and I was like, yeah, this my, every time was my last time, I promise you, <laughs> and I would go back. So anyway, I go, 
And I was like, yeah, I'm not going to the same guy I always go to because he will always pull me. It was a guy right at the door and he will always pull me. Mind you, at this ghetto ass nail shop, they talk to you crazy as fuck. So it's packed because, yeah, a lot of people want them $40 nails. So I'm coming in and I'm like, okay, they like, they sit my sister down in the back and then it was like, okay, you could go to her. She almost done. So he walk up out of nowhere. I don't know where this man came from. He was like, come, he was like, come sit down. His, his station is right in front, so he like, come sit down. I'm like, oh, they told me to wait for her. He was like, sit your ass down. So I'm like, I'm not coming to you today because he did not listen to me. So he was like, sit down, sit down, stop playing. Like, sit down, come on. So I'm like, oh, my God. And plus, she was taking a while. My sister was already sitting down. So I'm like, let me just sit down. So I sit down. I'm showing him the picture. I'm like, I want my nails like this. I want my nails just like this picture. He was like, I'm going to do it just like the picture. I'm going to do it just like the picture. So he's like, what's wrong with you today? Like, why you got an attitude? First of all, I got an attitude because you be cussing me out. Second of all, you don't listen to what I tell you to do. Third of all, my man ain't replying to me. Fourth of all, he could have been eating so food egg rolls with a whole nother bitch. Like, I got a lot going on. So... I'm just kind of telling him my business and stuff like that. Like, so we supposed to go to this club tonight and now he not responding. And he was all like, see, see, and da, da, da. Like, I don't know why I was venting to this man, y'all. But he still did not do his my nails like I did it. I don't know. I think they had got like an oversupply of rhinestones. And I used to tell my sister this, like, I don't know what the fuck it is about this nail shop. I would show him the design. I don't want no rhinestones. This design. This man would add 50 lamb fucking rhinestones to my nails and be like, this looks cute. I like it like this. I like it. I'm like, no, take it off. Like, what is you doing? Like, even when he about to do I'm like, uh-uh, don't add them rhinestones. I didn't want a rhinestone look today. And he'd be like, look, let me just see. I'm going to just try it. Damn, just let me do it. And he'll do it. And then he'll put rhinestones all over my nails in the fucking stupidest places. If I have a picture I'll post it, but I probably don't because I hate it every time this man did my nails. But... I just felt like I needed my nails. <laughs> so he put them fucking rhinestones on my nail. I'm so irritated. And I'm telling him I didn't want this. And he would put a million. I swear they got a big supply of rhinestones. And they was trying to get rid of them or something. Because everybody would put rhinestones on people's nails. I'm so annoyed. I'm like, see, you didn't even do what I asked you to do. And he's like, you're not mad at me. You're mad at your boyfriend. And he was like, did he pay for your nails today? And I'm just like, yeah, finish up. So I could get away from you. Because he was getting on my nerves. Like, I promise you. So I ended up going over to my sister. The person who's doing her nails is taking fucking forever. F forever. So I'm like, bro, what's taking so long? So he was like, who the fuck is this? Because I'm telling you, they cuss you out. If you go to that nail shop, you know. Like, they really talk to you crazy as fuck. So anyway, when she finally finished, she was like, okay, she about to go to her man house. And I was about to go back home, get myself ready and stuff like that. And we was going to link later and go to the club. So I ended up going home, right? I'm getting dressed. I'm still texting him. And I was like, look, I apologize. <laughs> I'm like, I apologize about earlier, but I think that we should talk um, in person because I know you said you didn't want to see me tonight, <laughs> but I want to see you. So I think that you should let me apologize to you in person. And he was like, just not tonight. Like, he was like, it's just too much tension. Like, I don't understand what I did wrong to you and da 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 da. But he was like, just not tonight. So, y'all, at this point, I'm thinking, like, no, tonight is when we talk in person and we get past this. But I know he probably was thinking, like, girl, you just want to fuck, fuck. I know he probably was thinking at his head like girl you don't want to really apologize but I did want to apologize so I'm just like yeah no we should talk in person or whatever but I do apologize to you now he's like I accept your apology he's like but I think we just need a little time like a little time so I said a little time to do what a little time for me to get dressed and then come to you because I don't understand what time what what you mean I'm thinking like no he's not gonna leave me Mind you, we not together. We just dating, but I was a fucking annoyed. I don't even know why he put... He must have really liked me. He probably seen that I was just a broken girl going through a lot at that time. Because he... Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what version I gave him in. I don't know why. But anyway, so... He was like, yeah, I think we just need like a little space or whatever. Because mind you, we would get into it damn near every day because I would get into it with this man because he wouldn't text me back fast enough. And I would tell him like, well, it's not a problem. I just need you to text back a little faster and then it wouldn't be an issue. And he was just like, sometimes I'd be doing stuff, Simone. Like, you know, like maybe I'm building a bridge. I'm just kidding. He didn't say shit like that. But he was just saying like, I'd be doing stuff. And then he has a son. His son play football. He was like, I'd be at practice with him. Like, you know, like I... It's not like I'm purposely not responding back fast to you, but like I could be doing something at the moment. He was like, because you know, I do respond fast when I'm not doing something. And I'm just like, yeah, but like, I understand, but like, you could tell me that, you know, I'm like, maybe you could just tell me like, hey, Simone, I'm building a house right now. Or hey, Simone, I'm 
Like, I don't know. You could just tell me, like, hey, I'm painting my car with nail polish. I don't, you could just tell me that. And he just, like, he doesn't understand it. But, no, I get it, too, now, because how annoying and how fucking entitled do I feel to feel like every time this man is doing something, even if it's quick, he should tell me. That's like if I be like, oh, I got to carry the groceries in. Should I text him and be like, oh, I'm about to carry my groceries in. Give me a second. Like, you know, and it's like, I don't know. Now I realize, like, what the fuck? But, anyway. At that time, I did not. So, yeah. So, yeah. Um, I'm telling him that. And I'm like, okay, well, I understand what you're saying now. Like, could we still see each other later? So, he was just like, I don't know. Like, you know, like, mind you, whenever we was together, we wouldn't argue. It would literally just be when we wasn't together. And that's because I missed him. So, he was like, he was like, I'm, I don't know. I'm going to let you know. He was like, but probably not. Like, you know, he's like, we should probably just have a fresh start tomorrow. We could go on a date and have a fresh start tomorrow. Like, I really don't want to come see you when you're drunk at the club type shit. Like, let's go do something in the daytime, spend a day tomorrow. And I was just like, I need you to see me tonight. <laughs> you know, I was stressed the fuck out. And he wasn't getting it, y'all. And clearly, I wasn't getting it either. And he stopped reminding me. So, I was irritated. So, I told my homegirl, Tati. I'm like, Tati, do you want to come with me to the club? She, well, I already had told her, like, earlier that week. And she already knew. So, I'm like, I'm going to drive because it's far as fuck. So, come on. So, we hop in the car. We start heading that way. I'm telling her. She's like, are you going to see your boo tonight? I'm like, I don't know because... He kind of being weird, but I'm like, I know he going to show up though. I swear, because every time I would irritate this man, he still will always show up for me. And it would just be happiness. But today he was standing on business. So we get to the club and we meet up with my cousin and them. It's cool. We go to the bar. We get us a drink. They had a little table or whatever. We get us a drink. When I tell you these drinks was monstrous, they should not. I forgot what the fuck they named these drinks. But I think it was called a zombie. Yes, it was. Because that should have you like a zombie. They mix so many alcohols in that drink. But she like, oh, that's the popular drink here. It's so good. Da -da -da. That's my first time going to this place. I'm like, all right, give me one of those. I don't know why I was like, give me one. Because knowing I have to drive so far back home. But I just knew Florida was going to come through. And I wasn't going to. I just knew he was going to come through. I was still going to have to drive back home. Because I have my friend with me. But I just knew he was going to come through. And I wasn't going to have to drive back home so quick. Because he didn't live that far. He probably lived like 30 minutes from the spot. So, y'all, we drinking. We up in there. This man did not reply to me. I sent him a picture of me. And I was like, hey, I'm out. I made it safely. Look at me. I look cute. Y'all think this man responded to me? He didn't respond to me. So, I'm like, okay. Okay, this is weird. I'm not like, okay, don't cuss him out yet, Simone. Don't cuss him out. The drink is in my system at this point, and I'm lit. I'm, like, swaying and all this other stuff. So, I'm like, let's get another drink. Because I'm really, I'm, we having fun, though. We dancing and shaking ass having a time. My sister haven't got there yet, though. But it was still in the back of my mind, like, because one thing about me, I could be going through hell. But y'all ain't going to be able to tell. You ain't going to be able to tell when I'm outside because I'm going to put that shit to the side. Because I ain't going to ruin a night because I got shit going on. You know what? I'm going to go through that shit when I leave here. But I'm going to be happy as hell and have fun. Like, even, I swear, it'd be times where I tell my friends, they'd be like, Simone, you was happy as fuck in the club doing the most. You was more lit than us. And I'm like, yeah, because I'm not about to ruin nobody's night because I got shit going on in my personal life. I shouldn't have came if that was the case. But anyway, so yeah, I'm having fun. But I'm like, I need another drink because... I was like four seconds away from texting this man, calling him weird. So I'm just like, okay. Mind you, he when I got to the bar and I went to the messages because I was about to text him and say he was weird. But I seen this dude, he literally hearted my message of the picture of me. He liked it. Like, I said, hold on. He, he couldn't say, like, I look nice? Like, you couldn't say, oh, cutie girl, I'll pull up on you later, something. I don't know. I was So I was kind of irritated. I was like, the fuck is wrong with him? And I had posted a picture on Instagram just to see some. Like, let me see some. Clearly, I see he did see it because he liked the message. But, yeah. So when I posted, he liked my picture on Instagram. So I'm like, hmm. Mind you, I didn't even want that picture on Instagram. I just posted it just to see if he would like it. I ended up deleting it. So I'm like, hmm. Okay, so y'all, so then anyway, we we at the bar, we get another drink. I, right when I was about to call him a weirdo, this boy just started screaming, City girls! The city girls is in the building! So me and Tati, because it was just me and Tati at the bar, my cousin and her friend and her other friend, they still like on the outside part of the table. So he like, city girls is in the building! So we just laughing and stuff like that. And he was like, okay, okay, y'all, the Walmart city girl... Why he got to call us Walmart? He was like, the Walmart City Girls is here. So when we said that, we said that, we like, boy, shut the fuck up. And we laughing and stuff. We was like, shut up, the Walmart. It's DJ Khaled. Mind you, this man look nothing like DJ Khaled. But yeah, 
I'm like, the, the DJ Khaled, but we just laughing and stuff like that at the bar. So we drinking and stuff. He was like, around the shots. I'm going to get them around the shots. I'm going to get the city girls a shot. But mind you, when he was screaming the city girls in here, why was really bitches turning around looking as if JT and Miami would be up in this motherfucking ratchet ass club? When I tell y'all this is a place that's a doodle ass club, I went there probably like three, four, five times. And I said I would never come back here. You know, you got to go there a few times and be like, yeah, I'm really not going to come back here for real. But that shit is doodle as fuck. Like, I don't even want to say the name, but if I was to say it and people who know, they'd be like, oh, that is some ratchet ass shit, Simone. So, uh, why the fuck would y'all think them girls would be here? So, they really was looking, it was girls looking like, hold on, where, where they at? They not here. So, anyway, so we took a shot with him, and he was like, make the uh, something shot. It was something he caught that shot. That When I said I watched that bartender mix dark and light into a shot glass and i have no idea why i took it and also drunk another got another zombie so we took our shot we up in there we laughing and kikiing with him you know when you can't laugh and kiki with somebody for too long because they're gonna be annoying why we go outside this man we go outside and we talking to them like yeah we took a shot we just holding there with our drinks and i had got me some wings and fries because one thing about me i'ma eat so i'm standing there with my food and why he behind us just standing there and it was like is that because i was like well, this boy up in there calling us city girls we took a shot with him whatever and it was like him right there i turn around slowly i'm like dj Kelly, what are you doing here and she was like dj Kelly, get your ass away from us he was like i was serious when i said i wanted one of your wings so i'm like go get your own wings so he like i bought you a shot that don't mean you can have some of my food you should have bet used that shop money and got you some wings mind you these drinks is fucking cheap as hell here anyway that's why we all drinking <laughs> literally everybody that's one of the places where you don't see nobody without a cup in their hand because if they can't it's like baby these drinks like six dollars everybody got a cup so anyway yeah he's just standing there and really was debating over my food but he talking too much and i'm like moving the food over because i don't need you spitting all over my food for real. like uh-uh bag up dude so i'm eating y'all we he ended up leaving. I'm eating my food and I'm stressed out because I, at this point, I'm drunk and they was like, oh, did your man hit you? Like, you gonna have your man pull up? Because one girl, she was like, she about to have her man come. She was like, yeah, he cool as fuck though. Like, he gonna buy his drinks and shit like that, but he cool. So she like, is your man gonna pull up? So I like, fuck him. They was like, what? Why? I said, he ain't even respond to me. I was like, you know what I'm gonna do? I said, like, after I leave here, I'm going to egg his house. I'm going to egg his car or whatever. He live in an apartment building, so I had to rethink that. And I'm like, I'm going to egg his car. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So they like, yes, do it. I was like, we're going to do it. Mind you, Tati like, yes, we're going to egg his car. She pumping me up, mind you. But she's not serious. You know when somebody just say something to say something with you? You don't think you're serious? Huh, baby, I was dead ass. And we're going to get to that part. So I'm laughing and stuff. Finally, my sister get there. I still have my zombie. I wasn't drinking it all like that because I was like, I, in my head, after I said I was going to egg his car, and they like, yes, do it, do it. But they clearly just talking. In my head, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do that shit. So I'm like, I need to be a little bit sober so I could be correct because I've done been drunk before and threw a cup at somebody else's head when I was trying to throw it at somebody else's. So I'm like, let me be a little bit sober for this. So yeah, my sister come. I'm like, here, take my drink. I always give somebody my drink. I promise y'all. So, I give my sister my drink. It mainly be her all the time. And she be like, stop giving me your alcohol. Stop drinking it. So <laughs> I gave her my drink. She drinks. She's like, oh, this is good as fuck. I said, girl, we're going to get another one. We're going to get another one. So I'm like, I'm going to egg fl so I'm like, I'm going to egg Florida's car tonight. So she was like, girl, what? I said, yeah, I'm going to do it. She's like, okay. So at this point, I go back in there. We go back in there, get another drink or whatever. Why was this random ass girl, right? My sister getting her a drink. And I'm like, I'm going to get me some water and like something regular, like a soda or something. So why was this random ass girl up in there? Mind you, I guess she was probably with them, but I don't know. I never got introduced to her. She going to tell my sister like, oh, put me, put my drink, like give me a drink on your tab. And my sister was like, what? She's like, yeah, put, give me a drink on your tab. And she just looked at her like, uh, uh. so she didn't say shit, but she just looked at her like the fuck. So when we have finally got our drinks and shit like that, cause now it's packed as fuck. So the bar, like it's hard to kind of get the bartender attention when we got our stuff why the girl gonna look and gonna say where mine at she's like i didn't get you your a drink because mind you you did not pull out no money nothing how you just gonna tell her to put a drink on your tab girls you dumb so anyway we go outside we having a time i ended up texting him and i said so is you not gonna come pull up on me or not mind you i ain't even making sense because that did not make no sense is you not gonna pull up on me or not so yeah so he didn't reply so i said oh okay okay all right all right i was pissed off when i tell y'all i was pissed i was pissed i'm like oh this gonna play with me i had a feeling i'm like i know where he probably at because remember i told y'all his homeboy worked at this club so i'm like 
not the club I was at, but I'm at his homeboy work at this club, so I'm like, I should probably go pull up over there. He probably at that club, just like sometimes if he ain't shit to do, he'll just go over there or whatever and get drinks and shit. So I'm like, he probably at the club. I could pull up over there, but I'm like, you know what? I'm going to see how I'm feeling when we leave here because I ain't going to end the party early to go pull up on him. So, yeah, I ended up texting him and I was just like, you're weird as fuck. Like, you're really weird. I see what's up with you. Like, you're weird. Don't ever talk to me again. If you if you didn't like me, you could have just said that. It's funny because to this day, he'd be like, he'd be like, remember you used to always be like, if you didn't like me, you could have just said that. And we'll say it at the same time and I'll be dying laughing. But yeah, I said that to him and he responds. So at this point, they playing music. They start playing RJ, y'all. I'm going to insert the video that I sent this man. And I could see why he didn't reply to me, y'all. He probably was going to reply in his timely manner, but I ended up sending him this video. And it was like, I give no fucks. Y'all, I'm going to post a video. Embarrassing. So I'm screaming music subliminal like lyrics and I was sending it to him. Y'all, I'm sending him these videos. <laughs> this nigga is not responding. I'm getting pissed off even more. I'm like, okay, yeah, got something for that ass. So it don't matter. I'm in there. I'm like, I'm going to stop texting him. I'm going to have fun. We up in there. We getting lit. We was so drunk. We having a time. Mind you, now it's over with. And everybody talking about they finna go to the after hours. It was this hookah spot. So I'm like... Um, my sister's like, you trying to go to the after hours? I said, no, I'm about to go egg his car. So Tati was like, you really going to do that? I said, yeah, I'm going to go do that for real. So she was like, all right, my sister jerk. She like, all right, where are we going? Like, where is that? Like, where are we going to go do that? So I'm like, um, I don't know. I'm like, maybe we should go pull up on a club. But I'm like, I don't want to go pull up on a club. Because mind you, I don't know why they would never tow this man's car. But he would literally, and he didn't like valet or nothing because they didn't have valet. But he would literally just pull up in the front. And it wouldn't be like, that's not a parking spot. And they wouldn't touch his car. So I don't know. But I'm like, dang, but his car be in the front. And like how the club was to have like an indoor outside part. And sometimes he'd be on the outside part. Like him and his homie just be chopping it up and shit. And I'm like, I don't want to do something to his car. And he see me because then what if, like, I don't know. I, I, at this point, I'm thinking like, I don't even think I'm weird. <laughs> right so anyway i'm like dang okay let's pull up to his house mind you probably get there after him because he be driving fast and i'm like and he don't even be out like that like he'll literally go have a drink and then go home or something so i'm like and he ain't, i'm like he ain't posting nothing either but he don't always post his every move anyway he ain't me but anyway so i'm thinking like yeah yeah okay we're gonna just go to his house so i'm like we could buy some time we gotta go to 7-eleven anyway so we could go um get some stuff to put on his car or whatever so we killing time anyway because we end up going to the gas station and we just lit taking pictures dancing doing the most and i was like come on we gotta really go so they like for real every time i swear every time i be like we're gonna go do it they be like oh you are serious i'm like yes i'm serious like let's go so y'all so this one girl she had asked for a ride to ride with my sister or whatever but she ended up hopping in my car because my sister was in her car and then me tati and the girl she was in my car i mean her car because the girl because my sister like she was gonna end up going to the hookah lounge afterwards because her man was going there so she was like, oh, can I ride with y'all and then come back? We drunk as hell. So I'm like, I don't even care. Whatever. Like, get in the car, girl. The more the merrier. So she ended up hopping in my car, though, right? So we driving. We ended up getting to not too far from his house. We stop at a 7-Eleven. We go up in there. We drunk. I said, y'all, we grabbing everything, y'all. We trying to find stuff. We drunk as hell. We getting, you know, the tuna sandwiches. We got tuna sandwiches, like the chicken sandwiches, like mushy stuff. I'm like, y'all ain't got no eggs in here. They was like, we got like the hard boiled eggs. That's no, no, she doesn't shell on them. So I'm like, ah, oh, that ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna work. We need real eggs. So I'm like, oh, what about a Jolly Rancher? But then I thought about like, uh, -uh I ain't about to put no Jolly Rancher on this man's windshield. I ain't trying to harm his car for real. So I'm like, all right, let's get stuff. I'm getting ooey gooey candy. I'm like, just grab stuff, y'all. We got chips for whatever reason why. We literally just grabbing shit and we got a whole bunch of random ass shit, some juice, all that, right? So now we in the 7-Eleven parking lot. I'm like, we finna do this, y'all. We gonna go. We gonna do this. We gonna do that. Da 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 da. All this other shit, right? So they, they like, all right, come on. We pull up to his street, y'all. But I tell y'all, I don't even know why. This is how you know I was drunk. This man lived in the hood the hood this shit was ghetto as fuck street lights off we in the dark i don't know why in front of his apartment building it's not a real security guard like this dude was just guarding the front gate for some odd ass reason he i don't even see what he would have done to anybody to really be honest but yeah <laughs> so we laughed and my sister's like what the fuck is he doing right there i was like i don't know but he looked real suspicious and i'm nervous i'm like oh my god i'm like getting nervous now but i'm like all right let's go do it because we literally pulled up 
right in the red it was like let's go we pulled across street though so they apartment had a gate like that you drive through it had a gate in the front but i don't think that door locked anyway so i don't know what was the point of that and then the gate that you drive through it don't even close so i don't know what the point of that either so we walking up through the drive the parking lot you know and i'm like I don't see his car. I'm like, where's his car? He's not here. So I'm looking, cause it's definitely about to be three in the morning. I'm like, what the fuck? He should be here by now. But I'm kind of getting annoyed cause I'm like, is he with a bitch? <laughs> Y'all, I'm getting irritated. <laughs> I'm irritated myself. So I'm like, what the fuck? Like, where is he? So um, I'm like, all right, well, new plan. We're just gonna go ahead and put this on his door. We're gonna put it on his doorstep, I mean, on his doorknob and on the door and on his window. So they like, all right, but mind you, when we walking up, and I ain't see his car right there. We still walking up. It's some kids. It's two girls, two teenage girls. I don't know why the hell they out this late making TikToks to a twerkulator. So we drunk as fuck. Why we all walk up and start doing a twerkulator dance with them? And they just doing it. We all in the background. When I do my dance, we and we ain't even doing it right. Probably only person probably was doing it right is my sister because she be really looking on. She be on TikTok. So I'm not even doing that shit right. We up in a video and I'm like, uh, okay. My sister really drunk as hell. Really up in the video for real, for real. And when I think about it. I'm like, we are stupid as fuck because y'all, at first, I kinda, it kind of like clicked to me. I'm thinking like, not nah, we on camera, we on camera, uh. Why would he see this? I don't even know if he know these kids or maybe because he know people that live here. So I'm like, maybe this could be one of his friends' kids. I don't know, like... We, we gotta get out this camera there's too much evidence like so i'm like all right come on so we start walking i'm like brace ourselves we start i'm breathing heavy i'm like all right let's go so we walk around the corner them apartments be lit but nobody was outside like we could hear people in their house it was somebody frying chicken because you could hear it on the stove and they talking shit and like getting into it and stuff we like listening this is how drunk we are we listening through their door like Ooh, what they talking about and i was like should we ask for some food my sister busts up one, one of them tuna sandwiches and start eating it so i'm like all right come on we really gotta do this we gotta do this so we stand there and we just laughing and talking i don't know what the fuck was wrong with us we drunk as hell we just laughing and talking and i'm thinking like should i text him and ask where he at and it was like no because then if you say that he's gonna know that you the one who did this and i'm like oh yeah i'm like what if he pull up on us i'm like what if he pull up and what if he glizzy us what if he have a glizzy and what if he pow pow us and they was like why would he do that and i'm like oh yeah oh yeah why would he do that he wouldn't do that he wouldn't do that but i'm like okay who mind you we like two doors away from his door like i could literally see it right there so we finally go and the girl's like which door is it now i told y'all the other girls with us she don't need no name but she like which doors i'm like is this one so we go to the door and we open up the sandwiches we rubbing it on the door on the doorknob on the window we put in the gooey candy on there tell me why the other girl do not not, do don't not need no name tell me why she start peeing on the doorstep so i'm like what are you doing and she's like girl i gotta pee i said you're leaving dna as if this man is a forensic guy and he's gonna literally be like let me get this dna and trace it back to simone it wouldn't come back to me because i don't know this girl she started peeing on the doorstep so i'm like girl what are you doing she's like i had to pee i had to pee so she peeing or whatever and i'm like what the fuck okay we gotta get up out of here mind you the girls they kind of like walked like the teenage girls i was doing a video they was already because you know when it's a small apartment but it's people everybody know everybody so it's kind of like who are y'all so they was already kind of like people around the corner looking i'm like damn they gonna tell and i'm like in the dude guarding the fucking door he gonna tell everybody gonna tell he's just gonna know it was me oh my god which i mean he gonna put two and two together anyway because who else would it have been so y'all we rubbing it do all that and i was like all right let's go let's go come on let's go let's go let's go why we knock on the door and ran even though nobody was in the house of course his car's not here we knock on the door we run off so we run it down the parking lot almost tripping fell and all that I almost tripped bust my ass i'm happy i didn't because that would have been my karma for real but we run back we get in the car and we're like all right let's go let's go so we laughing and stuff like that so i was like i'm gonna follow because the girl ended up getting in the car with my sister or whatever and i was like i'm gonna follow y'all to the freeway and then we gonna go our separate ways we gonna go our separate ways or whatever right so y'all after that some crazy stuff happened and that's something that i ain't gonna ever talk about because yeah so some crazy stuff happened and when that happened it was like right after we did what we did and i was like this man at this point because i don't know if i told y'all i used to think this man put voodoo on me so i was like because i was like ain't no way i'm just acting like this for real for real because why would i be acting like this over this dude i barely even know so y'all he had i thought he put voodoo on me and when that happened after we did what we did to his house i'm thinking like oh this man is well protected this shit would scare me y'all i'm drunk as hell so i'm freaking the fuck out i'm like he's well protected y'all he's well protected ain't no way this shit would have happened yeah again which i ain't gonna get in details because that song we made a pack we wasn't gonna talk about but here i am talking about it but anyway so yeah so 
I'm like, hell no, I was kind of spooked. I was like, I'm never going to talk to him again. Fuck that, I'm not talking to him again. This is a sign. This is this and that. Y'all, so we ended up going home or whatever. Like, I got home probably like 6 in the morning. We went home. Tell me why the next morning, the next morning, y'all, I wake up to a text message. This man texts me talking about some, good morning, beautiful. You looked very nice last night. Um, He was like, it was so hard for me to not respond to you because I really wanted to come see you. He was like, but I just felt like it was best if we waited and did something today when we both were sober and we, so, because i really don't want to argue with you like i really like you and i really didn't want to come to the club when you already was feeling some type of way he was like because i don't want you to feel like you know sex is the only way to just move past things like we should actually talk about it y'all when i tell y'all this man really talk because i was in a relationship where the dude did not want to talk this man really showed me again how to communicate and talk and shit like that he's like yeah basically he didn't want to come and just he come i smile and laugh I'm like it's nothing i'm not mad because that's how it would happen and we fuck 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 and then and then we get past it and then new boom new issue again me mad so it was like yeah he basically was saying like i didn't want to come and then we just do what we do and move past it like no i want you to see like it's not like that and i just don't want to fuck 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 you only so when he texted me that y'all it took me everything in me not to respond back but y'all after what happened after the bad thing that happened after we did what we did to his house i said uh-uh. I ain't meant to talk to him. I'm not meant to talk to him. So I didn't respond, y'all. I did not respond. It took so much out of me, and I did not reply to that man. And we went three months without talking. After that, when I didn't respond to him, he tried to text me again, and I still didn't respond. Like, after he would text me, I'll, like, post on Instagram or, like, purposely leave my red receipts on so that he would see that I was ignoring him. And, yeah, we didn't talk for three months three months but we followed each other on instagram and it killed me y'all because this man was doing shit even though we met in vegas i was like this man was going to Vegas like every weekend and i was like what the fuck? this man is living his best life without me i was stressed i was so sad but y'all tell me why at that three month part when i was just getting over him this man popped back up in my life popped up like a fucking pimple he popped back up in my life and it was just like oh but that's a whole other story because when we end up getting back connected when i tell y'all he came back with that better energy me too though me too because it took me a lot of time to reflect but it was just like oh i was at a party and i had posted myself and it was just like oh and i was like ah he was out of town too and he was like i want you to come like i want i miss you so bad but that's a whole nother story but anyway yeah that's how we had stopped talking because i was a fucking psychopath and i was cussing him out and he didn't like me calling him out his name and which is understandable and yeah because when i tell you like he's never called me a bitch ever like ever like i remember one time he called me bitch you know like how they say in florida like for florida you know that y'all say bitch and I thought he meant, I thought it meant bitch. And I started crying. This <laughs> oh my God, it's funny. Because he'd be like, you are a crybaby. But I love it. But I started crying because I was like, my was drunk. And I was like, you never called me that before. And he was like, called you what? What are you talking about? But yeah. Anyway, but yeah, when I say he's like super respectful to me. So it was like, why be disrespectful to somebody and they're not disrespecting you? Like, come on, someone, grow up. But yeah, that's it, how we stopped talking. Like, literally, if that crazy shit wouldn't have happened that I vowed not to speak on, if that cra it'd be funny, because I remember when I kept telling him, like, you was well. When we started talking to you, I kind of gave him a little rundown. I didn't tell him what we did. And I was like, yeah, you well protected because of some crazy shit happened. And he was like, what happened? Y'all, this man, mine went to some crazy shit. I was like, some crazy shit happened. Like, we vowed to never talk about that. He said, what y'all went and had, like, an orgy or something? I said, what the fuck? How is that some crazy shit? Well, I mean, it's crazy. But how would that, what would that have to do with you being protected? But yeah, I was like, mm -mm. it's be funny because he's like, I didn't do voodoo on you. Why, why you keep saying that? But mm -mm. it's funny because y'all, I was literally just talking about this to him the other day. And he was like, I promise you, you clearly was drunk as hell because you didn't leave nothing on my door. He was like, because I got home probably like, he was like, afterwards, he was like, my, his homeboy was end up working at uh, after hours that night. He was like, so yeah, that's where I was at. He was like, but I did not come home to nothing on my door. He was like, you probably left it on the neighbor's door. You probably was that drunk. He was like, because I would have known if somebody peed on my doorstep and rubbed tuna sandwich on my doorknob. And I'm like, oh, 
I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you just missed it. He's like, no, I pay attention. I would have not missed that. But I'm like, I don't know. Maybe them kids wiped it up. Who knows? But yeah, that's it for this story time. I love you guys so much. Don't forget, Dinner and Diamonds, we going up. I can't wait to see y'all. But that's it for this story. I love you guys so much. And um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.